Good evening to all you attendees at the uh, 2009 GALS convention in Las Vegas. Uh, this is live from the GALS headquarters here in New England via satellite. No, it isn't really. I just always have wanted to say that. We are on videotape, but I am pleased to have the honor of presenting the Rising Phoenix Inspirational Award to an individual tonight that I know really well. Um, I guess starting with the release of Phantom of the Opera several years ago, uh, this individual has been involved with this social networking site and this website and for many hours over the course of a year. And you know, I was particularly pleased when I read the mission statement of this site that said that it was geared toward the uplifting of individuals and the pursuit of the future and our children's well-being. You know, I think the fact that this um, involvement has a charitable, uh, you know, side to it is really admirable for all of you people. Um, and as you know, uh, you know, Jerry Butler is filming in New York, and I had some hope that I would see him. But, you know, my track record in working in New York over 30 years in meeting celebrities is, is not very good. I actually have met two in my 30 years working in New York. One, when I stepped out of the uh, office building right across the street from Radio City, and Sting happened to be standing on the street corner. And the other was, I was standing right next to one of the camels from the Radio City Music Hall Christmas show. So I don't think I'm going to meet Jerry. But anyway, getting back to the serious moment here. Um, for many hours, this individual has been on this site working to promote communication among people, to find information, to help people, you know, challenge their creative and their sense of humor instincts. Um, and even, you know, late into the evening, you know, I'm an avid Red Sox fan, and I can be there watching the Red Sox from a market like Los Angeles to Seattle, one o'clock in the morning, dozing off, and this individual is still there, trying to keep the network as up to date as possible with the information from the various entertainment sources. So I couldn't be prouder when uh, Jenny called to tell me who this recipient was to present this award to somebody that I know really well, to somebody that I've been married to for over 30 years and is a wonderful partner. I'm pleased to present this award, the Rising Phoenix Inspiration Award here to none other than Barbara A. Picozzi. Applause now, please. Thank you. Thank you, now, everybody. Now I'll leave the stage. <laughs> um, I have to say, I'm really pleased and um, honored. I never expected this in a million years, and it's very flattering to have been chosen. And uh, it's great to be keeping company with Libby and Bella, the uh, recipients from last year. And um, I hope to you girls all proud. Um, I really try to keep the site up and running. I try to have um, compassion goodwill and a sense of humor all the time. I don't know if I always carry it off, but I do try. And um, the person who presented the award to me in person here tonight, my husband, is the biggest support for gals behind the scenes that you can imagine, uh, allowing me to drag him everywhere to the four corners of the earth on his days off from work uh, to look for the latest Jerry thing for the gals magazines or whatever that have jury in them and for always supplying the goods for our keychains and the pictures and the silly little things I send out all year for the gals. So thank you very much. I hope you're all having a good time. Miss you very much, but gotta get back to the virtual con. Thanks everybody. And remember, what happens in Vegas Stays, stays in, in Vegas. Vegas. But that's not your money. Bring that home with you. Good night, everybody. Have a great time and a safe trip home. Good night.